Western Station car park. Um, Is Mike going across as well? No, he usually drives down. Um, to go with Fenton Youth Club to Bicton, a pursuit which we've gained in before. I think Samuel Court might be coming with us and her other Minger friend. Shovel should be here, but the barriers are down, so who tells? Who can tell when he will arrive? I don't think Claire Hudson's coming in, Amy, because I rang her up and Dave. Sitting, I say, really, I'm not eating a lot. But I think Sam's coming in there, being a friend, and the other one took it to with us. So far, no one else has arrived that we really know as such. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Yeah, I'm fine. Hello, Mrs. Spry. Human beings. <laughs> Yeah, so the beetle. Window, like. <laughs> oh, look, look. It's my auntie. Obviously, your bird doesn't like your hat. Oh, well. She got used to it. Yeah, she matures. And she's out. Oh, oh, Laura, how old are you? Not telling you. Eleven. She's only five years. Ah, oh, disgusting. No, I'm joking, Laura. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you're. Don't get your bit quiet down there, yeah, Mrs. Sure. Spry. <laughs> bit quiet, aren't we? Good on I. Mike goes, go down and get that on your scooter. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I do like going to cars. Got all those little cones though. Rounded them up. A car with itself is good for that. <laughs> Not a thing I usually admit to, but if I see a t-shirt at the car boots today, sale today, I might buy it. It's a little warm in my fleecy jumper here. The expensive one, may I add. Thank you, Mrs. Proton or Mr. Proton man. Where's Anna? Ooh, sleeping policeman. Who lives in there? Just people who work here and stuff. <laughs> uh, not students, yeah, staff. People like the families. Who yeah. cut the grass up there and stuff. Yeah, like really it's whatever. like an army barracks. Mm. <laughs> Boys are back in the barracks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Anna in her car? Brian Spry, or no, what's his name? Brian, Sue's Spry's Brian here this week. My aunties. Is she? And, um, <laughs> if you get back down here, say six o'clock. Yep, yeah. ready. Fast and then we'll clear the site and then we'll right. be swimming. Okay, then. Right. Cheers, then, Mike. <laughs> oh, Alex. All right, Hello, the animal. Right. Is that all, is it? It's like isn't it? <laughs> Mate. Looks like it. That's <coughs> bad. Back, take me for that special go and talk to bit. Brian. Oh, go on. No, go back off. <laughs> Say my dog. Go Jay. and talk to Brian. <sighs> There's Brian flogging the pile's eggs. They're crap. They're crap. They're bollocks off the floor. That's because Rob picks them up. <laughs> yeah, actually. Sweetie store. Better buy some sweets before we go up, actually. Can you this a tip? Privet store. Oh no, they're selling their brown telly. Oh, oh Mr. Spry, Alex Spry's van. And Mrs. Spry, and it's Minnie. <laughs> and here we can see Mr. Spry. <laughs> <laughs> Do lots of games on these things here. 
on the pegs, on the rope swings, etc. We used to come with Mr Jones, um, my good self went, Christopher Dore, the Owen twins, Claire Laurie, um, Oliver Shortland, Chris Dore, Adam Blackwell, Luke Donamy. And as you can see now, there aren't people actually canoeing on the lake at Bicton, but there are lots of canoes here, Canadians, laid out. And we are now walking from the car boot cell up to the tennis courts, swimming. I hope it's a Very droll, Mr. Spry. Here we can see Bicton House. Many generations of the Lord Clintons have lived here, but alas, now this lovely building was given to Bicton College, an agricultural and farming college, and a horticulture as well. Now, there is a library in there, which was Lord Clinton's library, and many other rooms, such as um, halls of residence. There is a mass of lovely parkland areas. Roberts Brown on the right, Adam Smith in the foreground and Chris Level on landscape, that's where we call it. And here we see a tractor! How's he going to handle this roundabout? Oh, it'd be a JCB digger. Right. Mr. Spry has now brought us into his student Can union, a the where he has bought the pie, hash brown, and corn on the cob, and hash browns. That's a cheese and pepper roll. Cheese and pepper roll. And I have got some ice cream. Very nice. And a half go on. Say, do you think it's reasonable Chris when he comes out? Oh, he's just doing his tray. I expect to say, I'd just like to inform you that I left my tray here. Straight across. Might as well go now. No point waiting for the devil. Lovely <laughs> follow like normal. Yeah. I've got a good one. Uh, uh, oh shit. I mucked it up by talking. That's a new roof in it. Yeah. Which was free. Yeah. What did you think of the meal in the student union? Uh, Very nice. Good value for money. How much was it? £1.60. And what did you have? I had a mushroom and chicken pie. Also, I had carrots and. I have hash browns. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Gravy. Gravy. All for £1.60. My, ma, you did have a billy bargain. <laughs> Parking, residence accommodation, garden and planting. Planting? Planting centre and parking. My, my, what a twang twister. Twang twister? <laughs> Tongue twister that was. Now, creeping, well, shortly, we will be creeping in between some residents. Flatty room accommodations. <clears throat> um, um, what can I say? Um, to the tennis courts, I suppose. Yeah. Big Rage Fiesta, must be a stupid. Which I've nicked off her because my pro canic one's lost. Sorry, I mean expensive Slazenger one. Lovell has just decided to break the nets. I've got an idea. Right, Do it from the other end. You, if you, you, you can tie it through here and then just wind up on the other end. I know it's not going to be perfect, but just go straight through the net. No, it won't be strong enough. Give it a good old hard prodding level. Mm. Shovel the engineer.
Is the tongue hanging out? <laughs> Poser of the year, I wish you'd pull his shorts up, it looks so bent. Rob. Sorry, Will be. <laughs> Levels hit it, it's fantastic. Bang. Rob. Chris. Smith. <coughs> Make it over the net. Can he get this one? Got it. Lovell can't. Tries his hardest. You know what I'm saying, like? See one of Smithy's famous serves, and uh, as Andre Agassi steps in here, we can see that it's going to be a tiebreaker of a game. Um, my name's Sue Barker, <laughs> doing the tennis commentary at Wimbledon as I do every year, picking up a ball. Woo. How does the tennis theme tune go? <laughs> Great. <coughs> Did you catch my slob then? Into the net. <laughs> 